Now, after the Parkland, Florida shooting, we realized we were going to see some gun control bills being introduced. And of course, to no surprise, uh, there are a number of things. I've kind of waited to see what is going to be introduced. I have four separate bills to bring to you um, that deal with different areas of gun control. Uh, one of the big things to realize, though, is the debacle that law enforcement went through in Parkland, Florida is ridiculous. I mean, it's almost criminal. This young man had been in trouble with the law at least 20 times. In fact, Parkland, uh, the law enforcement had been to his house 39 times for various different reasons. And of course, with the FBI dropping the ball with the tip and following up on it, plus Children's Health and Protective Services in Florida had been dealing with this young man a number of times and had said he's in no he's no danger even though he had tried to um, he had cut himself on his arms he had on video he had said that he was wanting to be a professional school shooter i mean he had done a lot of things we have a situation where law enforcement just dropped the ball big time and so now we're going to put on top of the 20,000 gun laws that we already have in this country and we're going to add more laws that are not possibly going to be followed up the only people that that hurts are law-abiding citizens, and they infringe on our Second Amendment rights. So what we're going to do is take a look at these four different bills, but before I get started, these bills, I'll have everything listed down below in the description. Uh, number one, you need to contact your senators and your House of Representatives, you need to contact the White House, and state your opposition to any of these bills. Uh, be polite, be courteous, you know, call them. That's the best way to do it, is to call. Uh, or write a letter. But also one great source that I use often as well is PopVox. I'll have it down below and you can see what the bill is all about. You can read it and then you can voice either opposition or support and then there's a letter that will pop up that you can send, a message. And I highly recommend that you send that message. And it'll go to all of your House, Senate, uh, and any representatives that you have. So that's a great way to be active. Uh, and I'm sure that there are rallies coming up as well. Okay, now the first bill that I want to address is the Assault Weapons Bill of 2018. This is a just bringing up the old assault weapons ban, but there's a lot of things in here that actually go even a step farther. I'm not going to go through all the information because, guys, we just don't want it, period. And it's H.R. 5087. The next bill that I want to talk about is H.R. 5103, which is an increase in excise tax on firearms. Uh, now, currently on a handgun, you have a 10% federal excise tax. It's unseen, it's paid for through just the uh, manufacturer. And it's about 10% for handguns, 11% for rifles and ammunition. Okay, so what happens now is with this bill, they're proposing to increase the excise tax to 20% on firearms, which will be a, almost a double increase and 50% excise tax increase on ammunition. Guys, that is un, we can't stand for that. Uh, for one thing, it really hinders people of low income to be able to buy a firearm to defend themselves, which is the most important. But for those of us who like to buy guns, those of us who like to shoot a lot, uh, this is gonna be a real hindrance and it's gonna just add more cost to our sport and to our right for self-defense. Uh, this bill will probably not really go anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have many sponsors on it, co-sponsors. But this is something that we need to definitely let our voice be known, tell them we're not going to stand for, <laughs> for this. Next is Senate Bill 2475, which is named the Bump Act. <laughs> and this is going to stop uh, all the sales and, or manufacture of bump stocks and any rate-increasing device. Now, this is a very dangerous bill. Now, this bill is introduced in the Senate. One of the big things it'll do is, is that if you add anything to your rifle that can increase the rate of fire, it's gonna be illegal. All these different items that are listed in the Bump Act, which include definitely, you know, triggers, different type triggers, different type devices, and of course, bump stocks. Uh, there's no grandfathering. Those things are just illegal, and I believe it's after 90 days. So you're gonna to have to dispose of it, turn them into law enforcement, do whatever. But uh, this definitely is a big no-no because the problem is, is if you put a Geisley trigger in your AR-15 and it makes it fire faster because, you know, the trigger's lighter, 
that could be considered under this bill. You know, there's a lot of talk about bump stocks, and unfortunately, I think this is the one that'll probably pass out of the ones that I'm talking about if we don't really stand firm and fight against it. The next is Senate Bill 2470, which raises the limit to 21 for those who can purchase a firearm. The big problem that I see with this, and this is one also that could probably pass, is let's say you have a young mother, she's 20 years old. Maybe she's a single mom, which is which happens. Uh, let's say that you know she needs a firearm for self-defense, and she's not going to be able to buy one until she's 21. That's how freaking ridiculous this whole thing is. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of people that agree, even gun owners that agree that oh, we need to raise it up to 21. People aren't really ready. Uh, listen, guys, when you're 18, you're considered an adult. You can go into the military, you can serve, and yet you can come back from serving overseas and come back and if you're not 21, you're gonna be forbidden to purchase a firearm. That is absolutely asinine. Guys, all four of these bills, and again, I'm gonna have them listed down below. I don't wanna go into a whole lot of detail. I just want you to be active, proactive. You're getting in touch with your congressmen and your senators. Get in touch with the White House. Let's let them know that we don't want any more gun control. We have 20,000 laws, again, on the books already that are not being enforced and all that new gun laws do are hinder the Second Amendment, it hinders shooting sports, it hinders the love for firearms. So we need to step up, take our pen, and we need to use it as a sword. And we need to let these people know that we are not standing for this kind of infringement on our Second Amendment rights. And so guys, if you wanna keep up with current events and a lot of the bills and the things that are happening, I post a lot of information on my Facebook page at Such Fun Gun Reviews, and I'll have that link down below as well. I know there are a lot of you guys that don't use Facebook, but if you do, that's a great way to get involved, be able to share things, be able to move things around and get the word out quickly. Share this video, like, and let's get behind our Second Amendment rights and let's stand firm and protect them. Guys, we are the defenders of the Second Amendment. And if we don't do it, no one else is going to. And unfortunately, there are a lot of state laws that are happening as well, or bills and different things that are coming up. Guys, you've got to get active with your fellow patriots in all these different states, and we've got to join together. And guys, we also need to get behind our gun rights groups. If you're not already a member of the NRA, the Gun Owners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, National Association for Gun Rights, or a lot of the local gun groups that are in your state. You need to get involved. Listen guys, I have not been all that happy with the NRA stand on the bump stocks, and you know, I am actually was pretty upset about it. But here's the thing, there's a lot of people calling for disbanding the NRA and abandoning the NRA, and that's ridiculous, because if it wasn't for the NRA, we wouldn't even have AR-15s right now, especially after Sandy Hook. They have the strongest lobby in Washington. Guys, we need to get behind that, and then we need to change the things that we don't like. United we stand, divided we fall. Guys, let's get together, let's fight this. Once we do that, we'll talk about all the other later. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Guys, if you think I'm just super excited, I am, but mainly I'm cold. I mean, it's 20 degrees out here. <laughs> Good gosh, man.